Time for a tip from Michon's Auctions and the fine art specialist, Gregory Gant. Good to see you, Gregory. Good to see you, Liam. Uh, and this week, we're focusing on black and white photography. Yeah, specifically nature photography or landscape photography. Yeah. It's spiked upwards dramatically in the last 20 years with the advent of digital and the disappearing art of working in the darkroom. So I know Ansel Adams in particular, uh, things for his uh, photographs have just gone way, way up, yeah? $700,000 for a large scale photograph of Yosemite a few, uh, just a few months ago. Yeah. So it's, it's a dramatic rise in value. So uh, right here I have you're holding a, a close-up of some rocks by Brett Weston, done Beautiful. in 1973. How much for this? That's two, two to three thousand. Wow. Approximately, and these two are are uh, works by Ansel Adams that he had produced at Yosemite by some assistants, and he yeah. would sell them to tourists up there yeah. to promote uh, the environment and the park. Well, stunning pictures, and of course, if they have a signature, they're the real deal. And these, he did sign because he approved of them coming out of the yeah. studio, and they sell now between 1000 and 1500 Wonderful. If I had the money, I'll have five of each, please. <laughs> uh, great tip, Gregory. Thank you so much. Uh, lots more Friday flea market to come. We will be back in just a couple of minutes.